everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today we are back with another Christmassy illustration, but this one I decided to do some fan art. I have been missing my Pokemon drawings, so I decided to incorporate Pokemon into this artwork. So here we are today drawing a Pikachu Christmas Village and when I got the idea for this I got so excited and I really 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 wanted to get this one done. This one actually took a fair bit longer than my other Christmas drawings mainly because it was a 4 which is a bit bigger than what my Christmas drawings have been lately but also because it's so detailed and I mean extremely detailed I did so many little houses I drew so many Pikachus and one Pichu by the way as well <laughs> see if you can spot him but yeah this artwork was so fun to draw and I just had a lot of fun um, you know drawing all the little Pikachus everywhere uh, doing heaps of different stuff so for the artwork, I, I wanted to have a bit of um, a sense of depth and scale. So I decided to do a little foreground um, where you can see some closer up buildings. And I actually drew a Pikachu and a Pichu right in the foreground. And these are way bigger than all the others because they are closer to the viewer, I guess. I kind of wanted to see if I could get a bit of like perspective in there. Um, have them stand out and make make them look like they're actually closer up. And yeah, that was a lot of fun to try out. So here is the line art, and as you can see, it's got so much details here. Like, like you can see all the little Pikachu's in the um, the background and mid ground, and you can see the the two that are in the foreground as well. So I'd started off with um, colouring in the snow because it was the main area of the, uh, the mid-ground as you can see and um, I did a lot of uh, blues and I also did a little bit of grey as well to shade it. Now I know like snow is white but I wanted this to be like a sort of night scene so you can't really have white in a night scene so of course Blue is the normal colour to go with snow when you want to do it that way. So when I was colouring in the uh, foreground Pikachus here, um, I, I wanted to have like extreme shadow on them. So basically all the lights from the village are hitting them and it's creating a sort of rim lighting with a bit of um, extreme dark uh, shadows um, on the front of them, on the back, the, the, the part facing the, the viewer. So I actually used a bit of yellow, but then I used a bit of uh, cool grey, and then I went over that as well with the uh, orangey coloured marker I have. And that's just so I could get like a sort of dark shadow, but have it so it wasn't too cold. I probably would have preferred using a warm grey marker, but... As I've mentioned countless times, my warm greys are pretty much dead except one, and I mainly have inks for the cool greys. <laughs> I'm terrible. I need to get more supplies. Even though I feel like I just bought a whole bunch of art supplies because, well, have you seen my art supply haul video? <laughs> Anyways, enough about that. Next I went into the, um, the buildings and I had a lot of fun shading and this gave me um, flashbacks to my old uh, castle uh, watercolour and ink artwork because that artwork was obviously night time and it had um, glowing windows and stuff and yeah I just had a lot of fun like doing a similar technique to that. I made sure not to colour the buildings and um, shade them in the exact same colours because obviously each building isn't going to be painted the exact same colour and also people's light bulbs are different. Some people have like more warm uh, light bulbs like inside their houses and some have like cool light. Um, so I decided to mix it up a little bit and you know give it a bit more variety so it wasn't you know the one thing. 
and I think that really helped because it gave it like so much variety and a bit of contrast between each one so I don't know just made it a little bit more interesting <laughs> and now for the Christmas tree I mainly did some greens a little bit of yellow and then like the the Pikachu's in the foreground I decided to do a bit of intense shading because there's lights behind it so I did a lot of dark green towards the middle and like lighter greens and yellows towards the edges and I think that worked pretty well I really like doing contrasty uh, coloring like that I find it a lot of fun to do <laughs> and yeah I also went in with um, my white gel pen just to do little dots all over the snow to try and make it look more shiny and also a lot of streaks on the little frozen pond there where there are a few Pikachu actually skating on the ice And now for the background, I wanted to do a sort of um, like a like a foresty style with like lots of little Christmassy pine trees. Is it pine? I don't know, but like those kind of trees in the background. But I wanted to make sure that the the Christmas lights still stood out. So I sort of left white around them and tried to blend uh, a little bit, just to make sure that they looked like they were glowing a little bit. And then I went over that a lot with my colour splendor and then I added lots of colours to it because obviously the Christmas lights are very bright and different coloured so yeah. It was a lot of fun doing all different colours for the Christmas lights and as you can see some of the houses have different Christmas lights as well and yeah it was a lot of fun. And now for the main part of the top of the illustration, the sky. And I went over mostly with my Prussian blue marker to get the base colour down. And then I, I tried to keep most of it in going in a similar direction, but also lots of flicks up from the trees as well to try and allure, allude to uh, like sort of visible trees in the distance, but not really. But yeah, after that, I did different streaks of different colours in the sky to try and get, like, different um, colours. And I used mostly my slate marker and also my very dark BV08 marker. Also used a little bit of black as well, just to try and, I don't know, up the contrast a little bit of it. Then after that, it was mostly... Um, little details here and there, like snow on the trees in the backgrounds and um, the, the smoke coming out of the chimneys. Yeah, it was a lot of fun to do. And then after I finished that, I went over the whole sky to do a sort of starry or snowy sort of texture in the sky. Um, I really like doing these kind of backgrounds because it just gives it so much more interest in life once you add that white detailing. I made sure to do some parts, little clusters of more condensed uh, little dots and that's kind of like a snow flurry type thing I guess. But yeah here is the final illustration and I am so pleased with this. I really did miss doing uh, Pokemon art um, because I've been doing so much Christmassy stuff so I thought why not? Why not combine the two and do a Pokemon Christmassy artwork? And I'm actually really pleased with how it turned out. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you hit like and subscribe. And I will see you in my next video, which is tomorrow. Bye, everyone.